you know, a lot of people who refer to Whole Foods as Whole Paycheck have been waiting for those price to, prices to drop. But so far, there doesn't seem to be much evidence of it in the grocery aisle. We all covered it as the supermarket marriage sure to drive prices lower. On day one, customers say they saw an immediate benefit in the form of lower prices. From avocados to kale to walnuts, Amazon is coming out swinging. But that was August. Today, customers at a Whole Foods in Boston. Well, it remains to be seen. <laughs> I haven't noticed. I, ha I haven't noticed that the prices are lower. I'd like to see them come down more. For a reality check, NBC News compared prices at a Seattle Whole Foods to prices last August. Of roughly 35,000 items for sale, we found just 269 were flagged as lower since the merger. Across the country in Massachusetts, consumer investigator Edgar Dworsky went to three Whole Foods and found just 254 items were flagged on average. They carry somewhere between 10,000 and 35,000 items in the store. So that means between 97 and 99 percent of the items were not cut in price. Another study in New Jersey found prices down just over 1 percent. In a statement, the company tells NBC News, Whole Foods and Amazon have a shared goal to bring the highest quality, natural and organic food at affordable prices to everyone, and we're just getting started. But near Boston, Wendy Vincent says she hasn't seen it yet. The quality of the food is still very good. The prices uh, still seem to be about the same price point. I haven't seen any difference. Still, many grocery analysts say Amazon is cutting prices strategically to gain a competitive edge. This is an all-out war that Amazon Whole Foods is going against Walmart, going against ShopRite, going against every other supermarket in the country. Yeah, Whole Foods still very popular, of course, and it is offering discounts to Amazon Prime customers. But here, here's what's interesting. Whole Foods itself did not have a really developed customer loyalty program with a database on their buying habits. So now they've got to build that database. And then, according to experts, then you'll start to see really strategic programs to try to target what people are buying and hopefully get them to come in even more. Guys, mm. back to you. All right, Tom, thank you for you that. You can get us a couple of wheatgrass juices, Tom. <laughs> that'd be great. Thank you so much since you're there. <laughs>